Okay, hold on. <laughs> Hey guys, so today I'm here with Maddie, and we are going to be testing out dollar store makeup products. So I'm going to be doing her full face using dollar store makeup. So let's see how this works, and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with foundation, and so we got two different ones. We got this BB cream, which is not the same and then we got this... That's not going to do anything. It's actually. This LA Colors liquid makeup. It's not even called foundation. So it's I'm really going to start with the liquid makeup by LA Colors. It's in the shade True Beige, but I didn't know how. If this was it's really work. fancy because it's one of those like squirt oh, bottles. Wow. And then I'm going to use my own beauty blender that I already dampened. So already the consistency is really weird. It seems like it, really, like, it looks like paint. It smells good though. It smells like lotion. It does smell really good. I don't like the texture of it. It doesn't blend. Well, it's, it's a little lighter. Like when you start pouncing it in, it gets lighter. And there's like no coverage at all. So this doesn't like blend well in terms of, and I can tell that when it sits for a while, it kind of dries there. So it's hard to blend it. So you have to do it like right away. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it. It didn't really do anything. There's literally like no coverage at all. It feels very kind of tight on the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and do another layer of the liquid makeup and then see if that helps at all. <laughs> I'm gonna use the BB cream because it's like literally so white as a concealer. Let's see. Because I didn't have any concealer at the dollar store, by the way. So, this wasn't even like meant to. Yeah. Oh, so this says that it's skincare and makeup. The BB cream, so, um, might feel nice on your face. So. It kind of, like, I can tell that the foundation is kind of, it oxidizes darker and it's kind of cake. With, like, just really thin, like, Okay, so now that all the concealer, concealer, not like concealer, you can kind of see it's like, it really is really light. Like, I don't think anyone's skin tone is that light. But it did help brighten up under her eyes a lot. This color mates pressed powder in natural beige. And it didn't have this, like, the thing it came with is like, it feels like it's just like, it's literally foam. Like, uh, like you know, like when it's like, I don't know, like, and like packaging, and I feel like that weird stuff. Anyways, yeah, so I'm obviously um, <laughs> not going to use that. It looks like this is what the color looks like. It kind of looks really like pink, but this is the lightest one they had. They had this one on like literally like my skin tone. I just got Wait, what is that for? What are we using that for? Press powder. Okay. Yeah, they, and didn't, so they didn't have any blush. Yeah, they didn't have any blush either, but yeah. so hopefully this will even out her skin tone a bit and it does a lot. Hopefully it'll like shut up. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but in person, yeah. like there's like blo it looks really blotchy and kind of really orange. This tan, tan powder. It's called it's in tan. It's a pressed powder, and it's a lot darker than my skin. Well, not now because now she's orange, but I'm gonna try to use this as a bronzer. And we got a contour brush, <laughs> so. Never use like a real contour bar. It's only so picking up the makeup right there. So we're gonna. This is not really. Kind of It's actually pretty good. I feel like if her face wasn't so orange right now, like you can kind of like see where the bronzer is. I feel like it would have looked a little bit more natural. Oh, the bronzer it, is nice. It's not a bronzer, it's a pressed powder, but it's pretty good. Oh, so now I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. I had these. I like color ones, and these looked really pretty. And these look like they're really pretty shimmery colors. And then um, these, it comes with like 12, and they're supposed to be long wearing. These are color, what are they called? Color mates. And it comes with these colors. So I think I'm going to go 
with this one because these ones are more matte for the crease. I didn't have a lot of eyeshadow options here. Like all of the eyeshadows really shiny. Obviously, makeup. Mm -hmm. really bad at using eyeliner on other people but we got the liquid eyeliner and I want to try it the eyeliner by the way is not that bad it's kind of like thin and liquidy Really like I'm really bad at winged eyeliner on other people, so open your eyes. So as you can see, this eye is kind of a uh, completely different, not really good, and that eye is a little better. Next, mascara. So there we go. Bold Lash by LA Colors. And ooh, I just ooh. have a feeling that this is not going to be that great, because like, look at it. And oh, it's really globby. The mask okay, so I wouldn't say like everyone has different eyelashes too, so like I don't know exactly how great this I don't have or good eyelashes. Is, though. But this is like I don't know, it's not that great. It doesn't really do much, it just kind of makes them black. Uh we got this lipstick and I didn't really know what the makeup like the eyeshadow was going to turn out to look like. So we decided to get like a more like neutral-ish, just like pretty color. So it looks like this. Okay, that's a pretty color. So that's our finished look. Overall, I'd say it wasn't that bad. Yeah. The eyeshadow was probably the best. you guys enjoyed this video comment down below how you think the makeup turned out and yeah peace love and ladybugs bye <laughs> cute